As I speak, Turks, Kurds, Syrians, and many others are living the tragedy of the 7.8 magnitude earthquake. As of now, reports estimate the death toll at over 22,000 people, and unfortunately, the number of lives lost are expected to increase. However, there's more that we can do to help, both as a government and as a people, starting with urging Turkey's government to end the discrimination against Kurdish earthquake victims. According to Kurdish journalists and victims of the earthquake, Kurdish cities, including Elbekistan and Pazarcek, are not receiving aid or emergency rescue services from Turkish organizations. Yemr 157, the government foreign communications network in Turkey, translates in seven languages the emergency information needed to save people, but bizarrely, not in any Kurdish, the second most spoken language in, in the country. Relief organizations like Hevvay Asur, the Kurdish Red Crescent, and the White Helmets in Syria are wonderful options for Canadians in that for need is great, and the support of tens of thousands of displaced and injured people need that support.